Let's get to know Chris Barnes, presented by Columbia 300. Ultimately, I, you know, I was a baseball player, I was a basketball player, uh, I played golf, I ran track, uh, played some football, uh, but one by one they all fell off and uh, I, I was bold on Saturday morning year round and all the other sports I played seasonally. Um, you know, I really love to play basketball, but I'm six foot and I was a step slow to be a, a division one player and I didn't want to play in gyms that were smaller than my high school gym. Uh, I was finally fortunate enough to uh, sneak by Lonnie Wallacek to make it to the Nationals, uh, at that time the Coca-Cola Junior Nationals, and I looked around and found out that all those guys uh, at home, this top five or six guys were all better than all the guys at the National Finals, and uh, thought at that point I might have a chance to be good at bowling and decided to go to Wichita State. Well, my success as a junior bowler was pretty sparse, actually. Uh, being, uh, I might have been in the top 10 in Kansas, but that, that might have been about it, bowling with Billy Murphy and Lonnie Wallacek uh, and, and some other great names that ended up on tour as well. Uh, they all taught me how to deal with adversity because I, I had to struggle through. I didn't get to win from an early age, and uh, so I learned how to watch the guys that were better than I was, uh, trying to emulate what they did, and uh, how to – how to apply the things I learned in basketball and, and other sports uh, into a practice regimen that allowed me to be successful. Well, college was a was an interesting place for me. In my first year, I ended up finishing 15th. I was the last person to make the C team. Uh, I was then able to make the first team, was an All-American. Then I went back as a junior and was on the B team. Uh, and the senior year back, on the first team and then bowl of the year. Uh, through that period, though, I was also able to bowl for money and bowl things like the team challenges. And a lot of these same guys who bowl with in college and in leagues there, uh, we were pretty successful making money along the way. Uh, it helped me a lot because I probably wasn't mature enough to handle the down weeks of tour. Uh, I was able to make some money to pay for college and, uh, and pay for some living expenses for quite a while through the high rollers uh, and did that for Gosh, seven, seven or eight years before I decided to go on tour. It was really instrumental in my development. It allowed me to bowl for Team USA for four years, travel the world, and grow up a lot, and be a lot more mature when I came out on tour. Well, I always wanted to be a professional bowler, uh, but for a long time I wasn't sure if I could compete with the best players, and the money wasn't so good. Uh, but after a while I'd accomplished kind of I accomplished most of the goals that I had set out for me, and uh, the moment for me, I was at the Super Hoinky, and I didn't do a whole lot to prepare for it, and wasn't having a whole lot of success that week, and decided if, if this wasn't driving me to be ready to bowl, then it was time to try and take on the best and see how I could how I could match up with the best of the best. I think the mental part of the sport is a, is a huge part. Everybody on tour throws the ball well, um, and uh, there's a lot of guys that are successful. It seems like the guys who are the most successful can categorize what they do well, uh, address the things that they don't do as well, and then as you get more successful, the guys that can uh, that can organize and uh, and keep things at a pace that they can handle. Uh, Parker's one of the best at, at doing lots of different days. And being on the road, I was on the day on the road about 250 days last year, uh, balancing bowling with family uh, and and with travel, trade shows, uh, exhibitions. It's all part of the package. And if you're not able to handle the grind of that uh, and and being on the road in a different hotel room a lot, uh, you know, the tour can be tough. There's no doubt that, that the toughest thing to deal with on the tour is bowling well for, for 35, 45, 50, 60 games and then comes down to one game or, or one shot and then something like a stone eight happens or a ring 10 or half seven. And, um, you know, the stone eight was particularly tough because there's not much I could do different on that shot. Uh, a flat 10, a seven pin, there's still things you can do better. Um, I guess over time I've done pretty well of taking that adversity and it, it's made me hungry to go back out and compete again. And the best way to get rid of that feeling from that one TV show is to go out the next week and try and, I guess, reassert 
uh, the success from the week before, bowl well in the qualifying, get it back to the show and get another opportunity to go back at it again.